Hello Tab Nation, it's Tom, and today we're going to talk about how to mute your microphone and your volume. This is really helpful for uh, video games, uh, especially if you have a keyboard that doesn't really have any type of like mute or volume control or a mic mute kind of thing. So this is really helpful. Uh, plus, maybe you just don't, if you do have the keys, maybe you just don't like where they are and you want to assign them to, you know, something that's a little more convenient for the game you're playing. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at, first is this script. Uh, I forget the name of the user who created this script, uh, but I'll put his name and information in the description below along with a link to the website. There's a lot of good comments on there that you might want to read if you're having any issues. Not really going to go into too much detail on this. Uh, basically, what it's just doing is it's doing the uh, sound git and it's grabbing your settings of uh, your mixers and whatnot, and then it's just kind of cleaning them up, you know, with the different types of information, breaking the information up, and then here it is. It's uh, adding it to a list view, which then is displayed up here on a GUI. So let's take a look at that and why this can be very useful for you. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run that. Uh, yeah, I don't have a hotkey on this, so if you do use this, uh, it should just uh, go ahead and run. There we go. So you get this little thing right here. It's gathering the information. Uh, depending on what you got going on, it can take a long time. Uh, I've had so many mics and speakers hooked up to my computer that it has a bunch of data, as you can see here. But this is pretty much everything that's ever been hooked up to my computer. And we're really looking for this mixer ID number right here. Um, you kind of have to play around with this. Uh, I had to until I found out that it was number 15 is the microphone that I use for gaming. Um, you can sit there and you can do this one of two ways. You can kind of go through and try to see if you can find the volume. Like this one's set at 85. Uh... But as you see here with a 15, it couldn't even get the current settings of that for some reason. Um, so that's fine, whatever. I had to manually do it. Um, so just play around using all the different numbers until you find your next one, which you're going to use on the next script. I'll show you that now. Uh, but yeah, basically that's all it is. I grabbed the number 15, and I'm going to jump over to this script, which is just called Mic Mute. So the first one I got is a hotkey assigned to F1. Maybe that's more convenient for my finger versus, you know, on the other side of my keyboard and having to take my hand off the mouse. I don't want to do that. And we're going to use sound set, which does exactly what it says it's going to do. Um, we're going to do master mute it number 15. And that's where that 15 comes from. So here's where you're going to test out. And when you're testing, just make sure you're doing both. So that's just setting that master there to mute. Uh, sound get, we're then gonna get, uh, you know, what is its current state? Do a tool tip just so we can make sure that it actually mute it. It's gonna wait five seconds, 500 milliseconds or 5,000 milliseconds. You can change this to whatever you want. And then we're just gonna, uh, just putting tool tip by itself gets rid of that tool tip. And a tool tip's just kind of a little thing window that pops up next to your mouse. Um, so you can see that here in a second. So let's uh, close out that old script. Uh, oh, that's already closed. So it auto-closes once you close the GUI, just because there's no hotkey involved. So I'm going to go ahead and press F1. And as you see, you got that little tooltip that says it is now muted. Obviously, that is not this mic that I'm using, because then it would cut off this video. Uh, and then I'm just going to go ahead and push it again. And, well, I'll mute it again. Let me try that again. You know what? My mic's off, so it's permanently muted. <clears throat> but if I had my gaming mute, uh, gaming microphone on uh, that's assigned to 15, that would then switch from unmute to mute and back and forth, you know, uh, whatever you want. Uh, you can always you know, change, get rid of these tooltips if you don't want them. You know, you just want these two lines of code to go ahead and mute your uh, microphone. So that's pretty much it. That one's pretty easy, uh, you know, especially since I added a lot of extra stuff. 
it's really just honestly these two lines you're looking at uh, to play with. Now, let's mute our volume. So here we're going to use a toggle, so we can toggle it on and off. Toggle is just like a switch. Got that assigned to F2. So we're going to switch the toggle, and that basically switches it between the number 0 and 1, kind of an off and on switch. If toggle equals 1, which will happen the first time, sound get, master volume. Now the reason we're going to get the master volume is because when we use that else down there to unmute our volume, we want to go back to where we originally were. So if we were at 80% volume, we want to go back to 80% volume. So it's going to store that uh, information. Uh, it's then going to sound set to zero, meaning turn the volume all the way down. You can't hear anything. And then I just put a message box in here, uh, you know, kind of to show you it more visually. Uh, I would delete this if you're going to be using this code. There's no reason for this or just comment it out. Now the next time we go, we're going to push F2, that's now going to switch to 0. So if toggle equals 1, which it won't, it's going to go to this else, and it's going to do sound set, and it's going to take that old variable there that we got up on line 13, and set it back to what it was. So I'm going to go ahead and push uh, F2, or uh, uh, in tongue tied today, F2. There we go. So my current volume is set to 32 point. I don't know why there's all those zeros in that 31 at the end. So it just saved that my volume was at uh, 32. And I am confirming that my thing is set to zero. I'm going to push again. And yep, it just jumped back to 32. Another thing that's really kind of hard for me to demo on this video without setting up a bunch of stuff. But it works, trust me. If you guys have any issues with this, definitely let me know. If you think there's another way to do this a little better, maybe expand on what I have, definitely let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm always throwing a few videos out uh, every week for you guys. All right, have a good day.